Here we go, guys. Thursday. Four down. One to go. All right, man. Let me. Okay. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Let me tell y'all what happened to me today. So I get to work this morning. And I'm in a good mood because it's almost Friday. I'm like, you know, Thursday I start kind of like getting, you know, getting pumped up, you know. It's almost Friday. It's almost the weekend. Get ready for college football, NFL, whatever. In a good mood. You know, it's Halloween, you know, trying to figure out what we're going to do. We're probably not going to trick or treat this year because Corona, the spikes are back up. So probably not going to do it. Probably going to do some fun things with the kids at the house and stuff, you know. But anyway, I get to work and a dude I ain't never seen before. Uh, I think he's a new guy. And he has a he has a Redskins hat on. And uh, he notices my Dallas Cowboy hat. And um, that I had on this morning. And he said, hey, man, dog, you know, he's trying to dap me up and shit to my, hey, man, I'm sorry we had to put that whooping on y'all. I said, uh, excuse me? Yeah, man, you know, uh, I'm a Redskins fan, man. I just, I'm sorry we had to put that whooping on you. I said, okay, uh, nice to meet you too. What, what's your name, bro? Oh, oh, I'm Curtis, man, I'm Curtis. I said, oh, okay, cool, Curtis. Um, uh, I, I said, you a Redskins fan, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, we played y'all this past Sunday, man. We had to put that whooping on you, man. Uh, he trying to be funny. You know what I mean? So I said, all right, Curtis. I said, all right, look here, man. Um, What's y'all's record? Uh, yeah, man. We, we we two and five, man. I said, oh, okay. I said, what's our record? I, I think y'all are two and five. I said, so we tied for second place, right? Yeah, man. I said, okay. I said, y'all are in the NFC East too, right? He said, yeah, man. What, what, you, what you trying to... I said, okay, y'all beat us this Sunday. I said, as a Cowboy fan, I get it. We're not doing so well this year. We have been doing so well for a while. Uh, we don't need to be reminded. We know. Trust me. We know. Especially me. I said, if you watch my channel, if you watch my videos, man, I will talk bad about the Cowboys before anybody else will. We suck. We're probably the worst team in the NFL right now. You get what I'm saying? So, I, I, we don't need your help. You get what I'm saying? Oh, no, man, I, I was just, you know, you know, just trying to spark up a conversation. I said, I get it. I get it. I said, but y'all suck, too. You're not going to the playoffs. We're the worst division in the NFL. Not one division, not one team in this division is going to make, well, it's not going to the Super Bowl. Somebody might sneak in through the back door towards the end of the season. I don't know. I, I really don't give a damn. I said, but right now, all four teams in the NFC East suck. Right now, they do. Now, one of us down the line maybe will get on a hot streak, start winning some games. Who knows? But right now, as we speak, yeah, we suck. We all suck. Y'all suck. We suck. The Eagles suck. The Giants suck. We all suck. We're the worst division in the league. So pump your brakes. Just because y'all beat us don't mean y'all going to the Super Bowl. I guess this is this was their Super Bowl because we done whooped the, 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 Washington, Red, the Washington football team's ass so much throughout the years. They ain't been to the Super Bowl. Hell, we ain't been since 95. They haven't been since 80-something. So I know they mad. You know what I mean? But... Uh, come on, man. You, you're killing me, dog. Uh, to all the fan bases out there, especially in the NFC East, we know we suck, guys. We don't need you to tell us that. Trust me. It, feel free if, you, if it makes your day brighter. Maybe that's y'all Super Bowl. Maybe beating the Cowboys is your Super Bowl. Maybe, you know, you finally get to be like, oh, let's see, lad, we beat y'all. Okay, it's a game. It's a part of it. It's a business, too. Uh, we're in a slump right now, guys, and we know, we know, we know, we know. But anyway, uh, I was reading an article today, and it was about Ezekiel Elliott. And it said that it's time for Ezekiel Elliott to run like a $90 million quarterback. I mean, a uh, running back. This is going to be real short, because this is easy. This is so easy. 
I, it was a long, it had the nerves to be a long article too. That damn article was so goddamn long. I said, man, I ain't reading all this shit. This is easy. This is so easy. The only way any running back that's getting paid $90 million is going to be able to run the football is to have an offensive line. We don't have one. We don't have a line. Everybody's hurt. We got practice squad guys on the line right now starting. So you tell me, how is Ezekiel Elliott, one of the best running backs in football, supposed to run the, like a $90 million court, I mean running back? Please somebody tell me in the comment section after this video. An offense, a football team, I keep saying this over and over again. Not again, a game is based. The foundation is based around an offensive line. And we're all finding. 1980 been saying that since I've had a channel. I've been saying it before I had a channel. Back when I was in high school, elementary, grade school, in the wound. You need an offensive line to control a football team. And that's the defense, too. And that's all I got to say about that. And that's the damnest bottom line out of a bottom line. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up, because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla back at your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them cowboys? Yeah!